Hola, maestros, ¿cómo están? Bueno, este es el curriculum review for Unit 5, Week 2 of Spanish 2. And we're talking about el amor para el día de San Valentín. Now, if you look at Spanish 1 video, you'll see a lot of the repetition that you're going to be doing in Spanish 2. Now, when you teach Spanish 2, you always are looking for more production, more articulation, more writing. We expect more out of these students. The difference here is instead of having a story, which usually Spanish 2 has, we're going to have a dialogue. This dialogue is really functional. We really want the kids to learn this. ¿Cuánto cuestan? ¿Cuánto cuestan los dulces? They're, it's really um, teaching them how to ask how much something is and then that exchange. We do want to... Um, we have one, two, three, four worksheets. So there's a worksheet for every day of Spanish too. These are fun ones that they're going to be filling out, you know, the vocabulary and building sentences around that. And then written, there's an error in that one, so you want to check that out with your student workbook. Use your posters to develop the vocabulary. Take a look at um, the worksheets. You're on page 90. 91 is for day one. 92 and 93. 93 is like a great rough draft of what you would have them write right onto their, um, their, their tarjeta de San Valentin for their mom. So... What we want to do with the dialogue is really develop this functional, functional conversation between two kids. So, el niño y el vendedor, they will be having a conversation. So, every day when you're talking about something dulce and amargo, bring them up and let them use those really tangible items to actually um, go ahead and develop out that dialogue. You should have those written on the sentence strips so that they have something to look at. And then go ahead and insert a new word in there that you can just paper clip on top of the old word and switch them around. Sometimes let the children choose what words they want to have a conversation about and how much things cost. That's a great way to pull them in and show variability to the language that we're developing. All right. So lots of worksheets here. I recommend that you do the rough draft of the tarjeta on day three where it says the writing aspect worksheet, querida mamá. Use the worksheet, the workbook page on that one and then let them do the tarjeta de San Valentin on Friday so they don't feel like they're writing the card twice in one day. So follow closely, you guys. Velcro yourself to this curriculum. We really, really want to hang tight to this because there is a progression and development of all of these different skills that we follow because we found through teaching it that the results are very good if we follow it closely. All right, so have a great fun week, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Adios.